Hey guys, this is my first fashion video of 2023. Because it's a new year, I feel like right now a lot of us are looking for ways to reinvent ourselves, level up, and I want to be able to give you guys some outfit inspiration for the new year without having to break your bank account. I make a collection on Instagram called Outfit Blueprints. I'm going to expose myself. If I see any outfit I like on Instagram, I save it to that collection. I open up the Outfit Blueprints collection folder and I see all these really cute outfits and I take my phone in my closet and I build my outfits with whatever I own according to an Outfit Blueprint. So instead of just telling you guys to do that, I wanna actually show you guys Outfit Blueprints for you guys to copy. So anytime you're building an outfit, you can pull up this video, see what you own in your closet, or buy what I'm wearing and get inspired. Also, I do just wanna let you guys know that some of the staple pieces that I am building the outfits around are from one of my favorite websites called Temu. I'll have it linked down below, and I also have a discount code because this video is sponsored by Temu. So up here's my exclusive discount code for 40% off the entire site. You guys can buy the pieces I'm wearing, or you guys can just use it as an outfit blueprint or inspiration to build with what you already own in your closet. It. I'm very aware we all have different senses of style. I've seen comments on my previous videos saying that they admire my style but they wouldn't wear it themselves. <laughs> I've really tried to make every outfit in this collection that I'm about to show you guys wearable for everybody. What would someone wear if they dress a little more basic? What would someone want to see if they are a little bit more inspired by New York City or a hometown comfy girly? So without further ado, let's go put on some outfits. Okay, this is my first outfit blueprint. This is inspired by this Bella Hadid outfit, and I recreated it with this oversized men's leather jacket that I already owned. Same with this colorful knit scarf. Everything else underneath is from Temu. I wanna show you guys the full look a little more. So I'm wearing this long denim skirt from Temu, which has a slit in the front, which I love because you can see the boots. And that's one of my favorite things about this Bella Hadid look is you could literally see that she put so much effort. She's wearing black tights, leg warmers, combat boots, a skirt, and I'm telling you, layering is a thing right now. Um, I also got this top from Temu, and I feel like lace is having a moment right now. Part of the appeal of that look is that it's really open here with all the layers she's wearing. Her chest is open, and she's wearing a necklace. I also got this necklace from Temu, and any necklace would look good with this look. And this is what the shirt looks like without the layering. I love it even without the jacket. This is my blueprint number two, all black. I've been noticing a trend with the incognito look, wearing all black. So this look right now that you're seeing is inspired by this photo. In her photo, she's wearing all leather. In my outfit, I'm wearing black cargo pants because I'm just such a cargo pants girly. You could honestly do this look with leather pants, black cargo pants, even black sweatpants. I just think to really get the vibe, it needs to be all black. And then wear a chunky knit warm scarf and just kind of look disheveled if that, like I feel like disheveled is kind of cute. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like the scarf is the statement in this look and obviously the sunglasses. And everybody has scarves and sunglasses. Now for the shoes of this outfit, I'm wearing these slippers from Temu. They're slippers, trust me, they feel like slippers, but they don't look like slippers, so it's the perfect way to be comfy and go out in public and not look like you're wearing slippers and that you just rolled out of bed. These cargo pants are also from Temu and everything else I owned prior to filming this. And I feel like this is a really easy outfit to recreate. It's just monochromatic with your scarf being the statement. Now for the outfit underneath this, we're doing a little Hannah Montana transformation. This is how you make something low rise. So I'm gonna have the photo pop up right here. I like that in this photo, this girl looks like she's wearing men's dress trousers and that she just rolled them over and then she's wearing a really cute fitted graphic tee. This has me written all over it and you don't need like men's dress trouser pants. You could literally just have black pants that you roll down and it creates the same vibe. I like this outfit because you can totally walk around like the city out in the freezing cold and then when you get inside, your outfit's cute. Okay, next outfit. This next look, what did I even say? This next look, you guys can recreate. Everyone has a button down. The inspo is from Ruby Lynn. I'll have a photo pop up here. 
I actually found this photo a year ago, like last winter, and every time I wear this look, I get compliments on it. I just feel like there's something really statement about only buttoning the first button and letting everything else hang out. I like it, it's so simple, it's so comfortable, and it's different. Also in Ruby's outfit, she's wearing a beanie, and I feel like that's really cute, but right now, I feel like this is doing it. This is where you guys get to do whatever you want with it. I'm just giving you guys the blueprint, and then you guys just like do with it what you will. Now, as for the shoes, I'm wearing these slippers again. I think they go with everything, honestly. <laughs> these are definitely my new favorite low-rise pant. These are from Tamu as well. Let me know what you think. This is the next outfit. This is very slouchy, very monochromatic. Also, I feel like if you don't really live on social media that much, seeing like these knee-high socks and sneakers and a skirt, you're probably like, no! This is a trend that I've seen actually in New York City, just like walking the streets. And this is the photo that inspired this outfit. And um, I put my own twist on it by making it all black. And I also paired a necklace with it. She styled hers a little bit more athletic. I wanted to style mine a little bit more grunge. I also am wearing this shirt underneath if you don't want to look completely slouchy and you don't want to hide your body totally. This might actually make a little bit more sense, but I wanted to give you guys options. So I owned this necklace and the skirt and the socks and the sneakers, but I did get this top from Tamu. If you guys like this top, I'll have it linked down below. I think this is really cute. I really like this outfit. You love it or you hate it. I love it. This is the next outfit, and this is the photo that it was inspired by. I actually saved this photo in the summer. This could totally work in the summertime. I love the long, flowy skirts. They are so comfortable. Such a great alternative to sweatpants. I'm a sweatpants girly, but I don't want to always look like I'm just walking around in sweatpants. So this is a great alternative for the comfy girl. Also, I'm wearing these for my shoes, my platform Converse. And you can also wear something cute underneath. I'm wearing a corset. This is what I got underneath. I think this is super fun. Corsets are a way to dress something up. We got sneakers and this flowy skirt and I feel like wearing this corset makes it like a little dressier. <laughs> so the skirt I thrifted in New York City and this corset is from Timu. I'm a huge fan of the monochromatic look. I love the white on white. If you don't own a white zip up that matches a white skirt and you don't own any pieces that are like matching or monochromatic, I still think this would be really cute with any color zip up and any color skirt. I I think it's the shape of this that I really love, if I'm gonna be honest, but the white on white is a vibe. And obviously, if you're gonna do monochromatic, I do recommend a different color underneath, so that way it breaks it up a little bit. A lot of you fashion girls are gonna be like, dude, that's a given, wearing a matching sweatsuit under a long black trench coat, but I remember having this realization like back in the day, seeing like a sweatsuit with a long trench jacket and being like, whoa, how did I not think of that? So this is for the girls out there that didn't know you could do this. I had to throw this in there. There is nothing I love more than wearing a matching sweat set and a dressy long trench coat. This is a fur trench coat that I got literally in 2019. Also, fur jackets are coming back and I'm glad I never got rid of this because trends repeat themselves. This sweatsuit is from Tamu and it's this really cute oatmeal color. And for my shoes, I'm wearing the Converse. Also, throw on some sunglasses and no one will wanna bother with you walking. Like. I literally don't even want to take this off. I'm so comfortable. So I saw Camila Cabello wear this outfit, obviously with a different jacket on Instagram. I'll have the photo here. And it reminded me how cute this always will be. It will never go out of style. Mark my words. This is the last outfit. We have a black zip up bodysuit with black sweatpants. Plain old black sweatpants, like not a straight leg, just like literally you could get these anywhere. You probably own these. This outfit was inspired by this outfit I saw on a website when I was online shopping. By the way, this outfit was all together like $300. It was on some like bougie sweatpants website and I was able to like 
find this in my closet and buy this bodysuit super inexpensively from Timu. It literally is giving off the same vibe and it is totally not as expensive as that. But I wanted to give you guys an outfit look for those that really don't like leaving the house because that's also me. You, know, Even though I don't leave the house, I want to look nice, but I still want to be comfortable because who wants to wear uncomfortable clothes when like you don't have to? So literally all you need for this is a black long sleeve bodysuit, zip up, or a plunge with black sweatpants, all black. And I've been seeing this trend of people wearing dressy, normal tops with sweatpants, and I think that's what really made me like this outfit specifically. I would never think to pair this with sweatpants. Usually when I'm grabbing sweatpants out of my closet, I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, but this just kind of takes it to the next level, makes it look a little bit more mature, more grown up, and for shoes, slide-on slippers that are puffy and pillowy. God, I really wish I knew the name for these, but I've seen them everywhere, and I also got these from Temu. They are so cute and comfy, and since this is all like black, monochromatic, black socks, everything black, we had to have a pop of the white. I love having a pop of color somewhere whenever I'm doing a monochromatic look. But yeah, that was my outfit blueprint, outfit ideas video. This was my first time doing this. Um, comment down below if you guys want more videos like this where I'm just constantly giving you guys outfit inspiration. I have this new closet. You guys are wanting to see fashion videos, but give me some ideas. I read all of my comments and there's a lot coming. I always say that, but there really is. I feel like I'm constantly keeping secrets from you guys with the whole music stuff, but be sure you guys follow me on literally everything. Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, Twitter. You guys will get it all and here. So yeah, um, I hope this helped you guys out. I love you guys so much. Press the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.